Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to your channel, honey. This is going to be your mega one. But however, I am going to attach this mega read to another one. So yeah, we don't because we're gonna go ahead and attach another one to this one, okay? So for some of you guys, you might have already seen it. For some of you, you might have not. So just stay tuned for that at the end. All right, so if you're new here, I welcome you guys. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you back, you guys. I welcome you back. You know you're a diamond shine bright like a diamond. Now, I'm going to get into a prayer, you guys. This reading is going to be an Aries read. I think I might have said it already. Maybe I hadn't, but this is definitely an Aries read. All right, so let's get into a pray. Um, tap into your energy, you guys, and we're going to pull in. We're going to pull in, okay, these messages on oh, period, okay? Let's get to work, honey. Let's get to work. Let's pull these messages through. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and I said you bless my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. So, Aries, for this mega one, we're going to do a 48 next. We're going to do a 24 and we're going to do a 15. Okay. Um, so, I'll definitely attach all those reads. All those reads will be attached to prior ones that are already uploaded. For some of you, again, you might not have seen it. For some of you, you might have. Now, just know it's definitely a general read. It's not a personal one, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please, my darling, take what's yours and leave the absolute rest. Send it back to the universe, okay? Because it's not serious to keep it. It didn't resonate. Don't force to read, all right? Um, cross watchers, please do the same. Place your placement where you need to place them. Place your situation where you need to place them, and so on and so forth. No personal readings available on the channel for sure, okay? Let me pull this back and fix this, guys, um, because I'm not trying to have this thing fall. Hold on, you guys. All right, so... All right, so personal reading is available on the channel, and it's very, very simple. It's very easy to connect with me, okay, for a personal reading. All you have to do is check in the description of the video, and you'll see how to connect with me there for personals. Now, I have a special that is going on, you guys, so you may want to connect with the special now if you do a if you do three readings with me for this month you'll be able to get a free reading a 30 minute reading that would be the fourth one absolutely free and if you refer a friend you will also get a bracelet a ring or a necklace of your choice okay all right if you refer five people then it's five gift if you if you uh refer 10 people then it's 10 gift it's how many you refer you'll get all the gifts in the world okay that is how you get your your rewards my darlings okay all right let's get you an angel because this is in fact a mega one that will be attached to another one all right angels what is your purpose here please and your number placement in line what is your purpose here and your number placement in line the angel that is here is the angels of positivity and the angels of positivity, this angel will be the 25th, the 25th angel, you guys, in line. So we thank you for coming through to assist with this reading. Okay, we really, really do. All right, let's see, because this is your mega one. I want to touch on a couple of different topics here um, that I feel like you guys might want to know right now. Um, it's going to be like a, like a personal reading, but it's really not. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to go through this one just like if I was doing a personal. So again, take what's yours, leave the absolute rest. Let's get into your finances first for the mega here. Okay. Then we touch on the love situation and then see what angel wants you to know otherwise here. All right. All right. What is it that you need me to share this time? Hmm, micromanage. Okay, someone needs to either manage your circumstances, your situation, your finances here. Use decision, yeah. There's a use decision that's coming in. So someone is, 
some of you guys, I see you on the computer, like checking the internet, trying to figure a source out. Maybe for some of you, trying to figure out how you could work from home. Um, you're either really trying to check on Google to get some information about something that's really, you've really um, kind of been tapping into something different for some of you. Um, I'm hearing resources. Okay, let's do this, you guys. All right, so for some of you, it's just a feeling of wanting to try something else, wanting to resonate to someone else or to something else. It's a you decision that's coming in, okay? So this decision is massively huge here. Clarify this decision, please. What is this decision? All right, so um, paying your bills. All right, so these bills are maybe need to pay it on time or this is what you're trying to do, having your bills paid on time. For some of you, it's the feeling of not touching the credit cards because maybe those credit cards have already been maxed. For some of you, it's, um, you're getting ready for something new like a job offer or something. Maybe you're kind of putting in some kind of a work or some kind of an investment here. Maybe you're trying to get a position. For some of you, it's just a feeling of overspending because some is maybe not attending to the bills more than they should. All right, for some of you, maybe working overtime and trying to figure out how can you assess something new here. Okay, I'm hearing partying for some of you, but this growth is coming in. I'm hearing that some of you may be um, a workaholic too, all right? Or for some of you dealing with some work issues, maybe you're having co-worker issues. Clarify this, please. He's terrified. Okay. So I do feel like you, you know, for some of you though, because you're going through some kind of a change or trying to change the situation here as far as your financial stability and security is concerned, I'm getting creativity, you guys. Right, so someone is either trying to assess something to, to have some kind of income coming in. Maybe this could be a side hustle. Um, maybe it's just something that maybe for some of you are trying to either learn a new way or trying to get a technique to kind of earn more money. Maybe a light bullet has went off. Maybe someone wants to try their own thing, maybe work for yourself or whatever that could be. Okay, Angel of, angel of Positivity, that is your angel that is here. So that angel is helping me like if you're thinking about it's ascending into something different, something new, trying something new, go for it is what I'm hearing because that's all about positivity and this is the angel that is with you, the angels of positivity. Number 25, okay? Let's see what's going on here. All right, clarify this angel. Please clarify this, please. Please clarify this huge decision as far as financial security is concerned. Please clarify this huge decision. Clarify this huge decision, please. What is this decision for Aries at this time? Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, this really coming through as a firm foundation. So for some of you guys, this is what you're really trying to attend to. Um, you know, building your stability and really building your balance here to make sure that you don't fall short on where you need to be in the next five years. Okay, for some of you have children that is depending on you. You don't want to be back into square one. For some of you, you definitely had a hard time where you felt like you was either walking around with a lot of other people's responsibility a lot of people, you know, pain that may have tended on your shoulders here where you feel like you were carrying other people's responsibility and not really dealing with your own here. Um, but I feel like, you know, this firm foundation is coming in as this is what I want here. I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to stay manifested here and into what I really want here. Even if I have to come up with a different way of creativity, something new, I might have to learn these creativity in order to make myself a better person in order for me to succeed um for some of you guys this is more than a huge decision what is this piece firm foundation is your power <laughs> okay 
it is your power it is all in you and for some of you guys you just need to know that you can you can you can calm any situation you could change any situation because you're spiritually inclined is what I'm hearing here you can once you get your throat chakra together um, I'm hearing you could change anything for some of you just dealing with a mental conflict within yourself or you're dealing around people or you're you're resonating around people who's in your energy that has bringing mental conflicts here and this is why you're not able to see your power your true self I feel like once you release a lot of things that's been holding you back for so long Aries I feel like you know some of you guys you will be able to walk in your truth walk in your happiness walk in your strength what is this intuition Using your intuition to move forward. Yeah. Trust yourself. Trust in your ability, you guys. Okay? Because I'm hearing destiny here. You are your destiny. You are what you put out into the universe. But you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then who's going to believe in you? This is what I'm seeing here. I'm hearing the throat chakra here constantly. Okay? So someone is not even saying how they really truly feel. Or what they really truly want maybe out of fear maybe you're thinking that other people won't understand your ability about this light bulb that is constantly going off in your head that's because you're truly spiritually gifted here and something is happening something is changing here and you feel it and you know it you feel it and you know it Tell me more, please. Clarify this intuition. What is intuition? All right. Stand your ground. Stand in your ground here and your truth. Okay. No one has to agree with you. Okay. They really don't have to because it's kind of pretty much irrelevant if they do or not. But you have to believe in you. Just believe in you and believe what you give. And what you bring to a situation here. So, okay, so I'm getting the crown chakra. The crown chakra is telling you something is shadowing your judgment here, especially where your heart chakra is concerned. Your heart chakra is coming in as well. And with this, I'm feeling like somebody's either dealing with a sexual situation or uh, dealing with their sexuality here. But there's love that is coming in. Love begins with something here because this situation will only have someone feeling trapped in fear. You have to just... Say your truth, the, the throat chakra. I told you guys, I've been picking up that throat chakra forever. This is going to bring you some kind of a balance here and transformation here. And you're, you're going to be smart, smarter beyond your physical year, your years of, of wisdom here. This light, honey, is telling me that you need to choose wisely, okay? Uh, because it doesn't matter about these conflicts. These conflicts are will be one of the damn past. Okay, who cares? Okay, but it doesn't it doesn't resonate with you. These conflicts got to go. These conflicts, honey, they got to go. They don't live here anymore. Okay, so this new beginning. There's a new beginning that's coming in here. It's the new beginning. Just know this that it's gonna cause some kind of a heartbreak here, um, or heartache. Or loss it's gonna come with a price but new beginning is, is needed more than ever this is are, these are obstacles and challenges here that's coming from your solar plexus chakra here okay this is all about your power and partnership here financial and material changes amen to that amen to that I'm really hearing something new that's really wants to happen here because I'm all, also um, feeling um, fertility. So this is a change here for some of you. It could be a physical change. It could be a child that's coming in for some of you guys. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. So there's some kind of a disruption here that you've been dealing with. All right, so this disruption is, is really coming in very strong, is what I'm hearing. Um, this was, disruption is something that you have been really attached to for some time, and it has, it has attached itself to you, but I'm seeing you releasing this um, disruption here. This, is, this disruption is shadowing your judgment, stopping the fertility process, and really having you not 
resonate in the way you should with the universe. This deception and envy. There's a lot of jealousy that's coming in with this situation here. Um, I'm hearing that this may have caused some kind of a uh, distance with harmony and love here. Emotional withdrawal, someone that might have had. If this is not you, then this is what's connected to you in love. All right. Prosperity begins as soon as you release what doesn't serve you here. Um, recognition and award. But you have to take the authority here. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take the authority. Tell me more. Okay, so there's some kind of a movement here. There's some kind of accelerated movement or motion here. All right, let's figure out what that is. Who's coming through here, please? There's a motion. Who's in this motion? What is it that you need me to share at this time in love? Who's coming through this motion of love, please, towards Aries at this time? The angels of positivity. Tell me more, please. What's the message at this time? the message at this time okay so the descript this description that's coming disruption I'm sorry the disruption that's coming true um it did come true with the number 16 and I do see deception this is what it's really clarifying that you've been dealing with some kind of deception okay um false illusion um, scarcity mentality falling into bad habits. If this is not you, this is what is connected to you or whatever. I'm really seeing a situation re re resolving itself, solving inner conflicts with others, healing past trauma. Okay, with a twin flame. This could be a twin flame that's coming to um, that is calling for some kind of a rec recognition here, admiring um, you for your hard work or whatever is coming towards this recognition. Okay. Um, in love or whatever it is that you might have given to it. But what I see here is a balance that is also coming in as well with this twin flame situation. Okay. This twin flame is a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame person. Okay. Um, but angels are saying that you need to spread your wings here. What is this? Terrified, I think. Please clarify that, please. All right, release. So you have to spread your wings and release that energy because it doesn't sit well. This whatever's going on with your twin flame connection, it doesn't sit well. Release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy act uh, activities. Okay. Release that because it, it, it's only wearing you down. Wear and tear. All it's doing is bringing, putting wear and tear on your mind, on your body, on your soul, on your going out, on your going in. That's how the way you interact with everyone around you. That's the only thing that it's, it's doing is bad energy. Bad energy. So you're going to have to release it. All right. All right. Clarify these messages, please. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here. What is the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Cups is the devil here, okay? All right, so I'm feeling like someone is just definitely um, kind of on half, half, half in, half out. But I really feel like someone here, if this is not you, this is them, but someone really wants a commitment, okay? Someone wants this person to commit. Someone wants also to be committed, 
But I do feel like there's also a feeling of someone already being in commitment with someone else. With the devil been here, this person may already be married or this could be an addiction of whatever is going on with this devil being here, okay? Um, it could be a drug or a, a addiction or some kind of attachment to something that someone constantly does that is unhealthy for the energy, which is theirs and yours and everyone around um, because it boils down to toxic and it boils down to being a karmic situation that maybe somebody's having a hard time releasing here. Um, and in this, this kind of energy is just calling for someone to make a decision and kind of walk away here because it's really having you in the reverse. Um, like mentally, spiritually, it's like feeling kind of lost here. Tell me more. All right, yeah, so there's a lot of conflicts here, okay? The Five of Wands, the Devil here, and the, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of conflicts here. But the, the Five of Wands did show in the reverse, and I do feel like someone is either ready to walk away from these conflicts. Someone is saying, I'm done. It's a wrap. I can't do it anymore. Um, I've already invested my energy, my time. I need to focus on me right now. I need to invest in what I have to do. I need to invest into building myself back up um resonate into what is to come getting prepared for a new chapter here um but i have to say focus even though there is a connection still with this twin flame situation but it's calling in release a feeling of releasing bad healthy habits okay this is what i'm seeing i'm hearing it's time to really start cleansing one's mind on a mental level here spiritual level because situation is about to unfold here and because situation is about to unfold, I feel like someone needs to get ready for this journey, this trap, this transition. It's, it's like a period, it's like a phase where someone is either trying to make a decision here or some kind of a choice to kind of walk away. Either way it goes, someone is ready to put their the first step in to be sure that you are happy and leaving things that didn't serve you behind. This is what I'm hearing for some of you, okay? All right, so this is going to be your mega. And again, my darlings, I'm going to attach it to another read since yesterday. So stay tuned for that one at the end. And if you do need me to pray for you guys, go ahead and leave. Go ahead and text me at the number that you will see in the description of the video, okay? Also, you can email me if that's what you choose to do. You can email me, but either way, your prayer will be sent out. I will definitely um, let you guys know that I did receive the email or the text, okay? Um, and for those of you that already texted and sent your email, I've seen it. And I hope that you guys did see that I did reply, all right? All right, so I love you guys. Pray for me as I will be also praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your next 12 hours, okay? Now, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like a diamond. Now, for my returning seekers, just know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on my channel. I see the love, you guys, and believe me, the love is not going unappreciated, okay? I'm going to get into a prayer for the ones that are new. We do pray here. I will tap into your energy. Ooh. I was eating cookies on here, you guys. Um, tap it into your energy and pull it in the overall 12 hours. Okay, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as your vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, um, for this 12 hour, um, your next 12 hour, um, just know that it is not a personal reading. It's a general reading. So you'll have to take what's yours and leave the rest. All right, it will not resonate to every single one of you. All right, my darling, so just know that. Also, I do have um personal readings available on the channel if you guys are interested you can always connect with me using the information that i provided for you in the description of the video i have a special also going right now um you get 
a three if you let's just say this if you make an appointment with me three times for this month you will definitely get the fourth one absolutely free look at this why is my lighter not lighting okay um also if you have already have a reading with me you guys um i will send you a and you refer a friend i will send you a bracelet a protection bracelet in the mail also absolutely free okay so go ahead and do your referrals if you give me three referrals you get three bracelets if you give me two referrals you get two bracelets every referral you get a bracelet or a necklace or whatever it is that you want okay all right so let's get into your read you guys let's cleanse the area just a little bit all right, cleanse my area, cleanse my space, keep away any negativity, any dark magic, any black magic here for my space. Cleanse my area, cleanse the ones that are watching. Heavenly Father, cleanse my hands, cleanse my words, cleanse my thoughts. Let no evil come past me. Only purity and let the angels continue to bless and guide this space in Jesus' name. All right. All right, you guys, let's see what's coming true for your next 12. What is the next 12, please? What's the next 12 hours? What is the next 12 hours, please? What's the next 12 hours at this time? What is it that you need me to share with Aries at this time? What's the next 12, please? All right, so we have the hangman here in the reverse. What is the hangman here in the reverse, please? What's the hangman in the reverse? All right, so we have the hangman and the devil also in the reverse, you guys, okay? Um, what I am seeing here is that there's a situation where someone may be just kind of being more chilled, more kind of watching to see what's going on, trying to see what the next step is. I do feel like with the dead card being here, though, and because it did show in the reverse, I'm really feeling for some of you that there may be a childhood situation that you're trying to release. If this is not you, this could be them, or what is connected, or what's coming through, past, present, or future. Uh, but I do feel that there's a situation that is haunting someone, um, I'm hearing that this could be maybe a, a, a sexual or a drug addiction or something that feels more addictive where someone might be trying to get rid of a situation here, but somebody may also been watched here. Um, kind of taking their time here and observing a situation. All right, what's the next 12 hour? Please clarify the devil in the reverse. What is the devil in the reverse, please? So the devil in the reverse is the, the knight of wands. Wow. All right, so I'm hearing that there is a situation that you're connected with this person who really wants to come in and try something again with you. This is what I'm seeing here, okay? Okay. Um, someone wants to either start again, uh, talk to you conversation wise, but I feel like whatever is causing this separation or whatever is causing, uh, a damper or friction here, um, the world is here to resonate with that. Okay. So I do feel also that this person might have missed some kind of opportunity, but this person really wants to want to you. This person really wants to be your world or this is how they see you. I do feel like you're content. With what's coming through. I do feel like the world is yours. This is what I'm hearing. I'm feeling like for some of you guys, you may maybe trying to start something, do something, resonate with something um, that you might have been manifested in some time, but having a difficult time making that choice here. The three of wands. Um, hmm. The three of wands, the three of pentacles, and the five of cups. All right, so this could resonate with a marriage for some of you. If this not if this is not a marriage, this is something that is feels really solid. But someone may be feeling rather ashamed here, um, because they might have messed up something here. Um, 
Maybe you guys are definitely in separation because I'm feeling like someone is missing you with this Five of Cups. I'm hearing that you might have tried to kind of fix a situation as far as money is concerned. Uh, but this Three of Pentacles really feel like, it feels like there is some kind of a weakness or whatever this could be. But I'm hearing this Three of Wands that's coming in as disappointment here um, for some of you. Um, or just they just think you just might have moved on or somebody wants to. I feel like someone is either thinking about moving away or, or whatever this could be, all right? Someone wants maybe a new chance uh, to resonate somewhere else and walking away from a situation that the devil is connected to. Even though that they show up in the reverse, but this could be something that maybe you know, feels um, maybe toxic or karmic. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Someone may even be blocked already. Someone might have blocked someone already because someone wants to be content with this world card being here. What is the world? What is the world card, please? Clarify that. For the next 12 hour, please. What's the next 12 hour, please? Clarify that. Okay, there it is. All right, so that's the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is clarifying the world here. So this uh, either some kind of a miscommunication or you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. Or for some of you guys, it's just a feeling of um, you're trying here but still feeling um, that you're not, not having any peace. Because whatever is coming through here, this, it feels more like one that um, a decision needs to be made or a choice or of a circumstances here. But it's not setting peace in in in. It's, it's like it's not setting peace into a place where peace is needed. That that makes any sense for some of you guys. Uh, decision is not made, and this is the only reason why. I'm hearing this could resonate with a friendship that the, it may, that you may have with this person. Uh, it could be a family friend or whatever friendship, however you want to put a friendship, okay? But I'm hearing that this feels more like of an intimacy. Maybe somebody had sex with their friend. <laughs> or have a connection or something with your friend or have some kind of affection here with a friendship or maybe it's just you who started your connection with this person who was a friend uh, please clarify this two of swords because there's something that someone is either trying not to see or just lacking the knowledge or the intuition to be used that needs to see a situation much clearer um because someone has a stronghold here what is the stronghold the three of cups in the reverse. So there's a definitely a third party. So that is your stronghold. There's a third party situation here, okay? Um, for some of you guys, this may be someone rather close. Someone maybe you know about. All right? Um, I feel like you shouldn't push any further at this point because there's some clarity that needs to happen. Um, if you're connected with your person, whether they're in the past, whether they're in the present, or they're what they want to come. But you have to be really on your tippy toes right here with this situation because there's definitely someone here and this someone is rather close. And I did pick up friendship, ain't it? Just be careful who you're introducing um, your people to, your friends, okay? Someone is feeling overwhelmed here, the two of pentacles in the reverse. Um, someone might have gotten caught here because someone lied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And now someone is feeling rather shamed, the five of cups. Very embarrassed for what had happened. Please clarify the two of pentacles in the reverse, please. What is the two of pentacles in the reverse? What is the two of pentacles in the reverse, please? What is the two of pentacles in the reverse? All right, so the two of pentacles is the king of swords, the king of swords. The five, the six of pentacles, the king of pentacles in the reverse, and also look at that. Hmm. The four, the eight of uh pentacles. Somebody's moving away from something here. Yeah, there's an energy that's been blocked here. Now, if you did not block anyone, someone is either blocked you or about to. Okay. This, this king of swords in the reverse wants to block someone here. Um, I do feel like someone. this is either something that is unexpected. You know, things are not going right and you know that. But being blocked is something that was not a part of the plan. Because you've given a lot to this situation already. And somebody just decided to block something. Um, 
I do see someone here has been very argumental with this king of pentacles in the reverse. This person is not good with money. They don't have money management, ma uh, management skills at all. This person may be filing for some kind of a bankruptcy or having some court order or about to lose their house, their car, or whatever it is their possessions are, okay? Um, I'm hearing weakness and corruption with this um, uh, this king of pentacles here in the reverse. Something very ugly, okay? Now it's time that you find a new way to love here because you're building blocks. This is what I see you doing here. You're investing in you and loving you all over again, all right? Um, new way to love. New way to figure out your life. New way to manifest into your, your ability to make your money here. Um, because you can do it. You just have to go for it. The death here. Something is coming to an end. Something is done here. Okay. That's in the reverse. Somebody did not learn their lesson because they're still stuck. And the temperance showed up to clarify that. But the temperance here. I feel like you shouldn't rush into a situation that doesn't require to be rushed as far as your next 12 hours is concerned. Okay. Be patient is what angels are saying. The temperance been here. Just be patient and don't rush it because you suffered a, tr a critical moment as is with the tower been here. Okay. Something that you might have tried over and over again that didn't work because of fear. Fear and trouble here with the two of wands being in the reverse and feeling very ashamed. This is this feels like a very committed relationship. Um they're not ready to talk, though, okay? Um, they're not ready to talk. Whatever you're connected with, they're not ready to talk here. With this two of wands in the reverse, someone is not ready to talk yet. And this really clarified that, this two of swords here, they're not ready to talk because they're very stuck. And they're trapped into how they feel and how they see things flowing here. Um, And this is where you're going to put an end to a situation that doesn't need to resonate with you anymore because I see you moving forward here. I'm seeing you reclaiming your life, your word. Um, I'm seeing you resonating to um, new love, um, blocking what doesn't serve you, walking away from false um, tongue, okay? The tongue is a problem here because someone already used their tongue to put a situation on hold. Now it's time that you move forward. The ace of swans in the reverse. Moving forward and only with forward movement, okay? Pushing for what you want here, making things happen. It may look like it's a slow process, but it's processed. Okay. What is the Five of Cups? What is the Five of Cups, please? The Five of Cups is a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Three of Swords in the upright, and the Sun. So someone is definitely dealing with a third-party situation that is causing conflicts here. I'm hearing that you need to forgive and just move on from it. Um... It's causing too much confusion already. And not only is it causing a lot of confusion here, but it's causing a lot of distraction. Distraction is you manifesting your life, and this is why the Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse, okay? I'm um, hearing deception here. Um, hmm. Money's not going right. If this is not you that having money issues, then this is them. Someone needs to have their faith here because the sun resonates to faith. It resonates to what you want. It, meant it resonates to building your empire. It resonates to cleansing your energy. It resonates to have, not having fear taking over your life. It resonates to you knowing that all is well here because you're protected by the angels here. But some of us, we tend to forget that. What is the sun? What is the sun? What is the sun for the next 12, please? Okay, so we have the we have the page of wands in the reverse, and then we have the chariot. Okay, so this person is still stuck, okay? If you're planning on waiting for a situation, that situation is still stuck where they are last time versus now, nothing has changed. I do feel like they might have ran out of some kind of an option here because the chariot is in the reverse. It's a slow movement, and because the movement is so slow, the option has been funked. It's been out. It's done. Deuces. Goodbye. All right? Um, because of anxiety, that's what's coming through here. Someone is either trying to hold back a situation that needs not to be hold back and just speak your truth. Your throat chakra here needs to be revealed. Someone is coming towards you with something that is evil, 
are someone is trying to have fear, bring fear towards you, but this is decision time here. The two of ones in the reverse. It's decision time, okay? Because this new is coming. Ace of Pentacles, claim it, divine intervention. Uh, for some of you, you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, you want to do something, you want to invest in yourself. Um, this is what I see you want to do. You got to do it. Just go ahead and do it here. But just know that this person, their intentions of coming back has been blocked here because they still didn't fix their situation ship. All right. We already suffered here. That is over. Uh, mental anguish, mental pain, breakdown, nervous breakdown. For some of you, you, you just dealing with situation that feels like it's never ending. It's back to back pain and tears and fear and everything that rhymes with E A R S. Okay. What is the Ten of Swords? Clarify the Ten of Swords, please. What is the Ten of Swords? All right, so the Two of Cups in the reverse. So there's nothing coming here. These guys are, are maybe in separation, which feels permanent. But Angel wants you to know that the Eye Priestess is also here. The Sun is here. Um, so you have to trust your intuition. This is what I'm hearing. Um, have a clear mind. Um, versus not having any at all, okay? Um, angels are saying that, you know, this person here, they did make you feel good. Good is how you felt. But however, what is it that you were really seeking here? What is it that you were really trying to manifest here? The next 12 hours is saying you have to give yourself the love that you truly deserve here, and that is loving you, okay? All right, so this is going to be your 12 hours, and I hope that it did resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to... Thumbs up this read on your way out. And if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simply by sending me an email or texting me at the number and the information will be in the description of this video, okay? Now, I will also be um, connecting another read that I did last night to this one. So stay tuned for that. It's coming, all right? So stay tuned and watch that one because you might have missed a message there, you guys. Okay, I did upload it really pretty um late in the night. Um probably in the morning you guys were probably sleeping. So just go ahead and watch that. Alright, I love you guys to the moon and stars. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye guys.